Hey everybody, I'm here, Josh, speaking with Linda Young. Uh, she's a writer and author of God Glasses. She is here all the way in Coleman, Alabama from California. Home Desert, California, right? Home Desert, California, yeah. right. All right. Well, why don't we start out and you tell us a little about yourself, a little about your ministry, and a little about the book. Okay. Well, God Glasses is a book that the Lord put in my heart several years ago. Um, I teach Bible studies, and when I would teach, I would tell people that they need to see like God sees, because mm -hmm. God doesn't get worried, and He likes everybody. Yeah. And I wanted people to see as he sees, to overlook offenses and to look beyond what they're seeing with their natural eyes. So, um, one day, the Lord just... About how long was the book? Did it take the right book? Probably about a year yeah. when I started, but about three years to get started. <laughs> okay. So about three years to get started. It, we have a tendency... Was it, was it, was it planning? Was it... Yeah. You know, or just it, you it not was, starting it. Really. You really don't want me to do this, do you? It was um, procrastination. You know, we all hear the Lord talk to us, but it's when do we act on what He tells us. So, after three years, how long, what, what finally sparked it to finally, you know, you sat down and started writing? <laughs> because I began to tell people that I was going to do this, and one day I heard myself say, I'm going to do this, but it was like, well, when are you going to do it? So, so that's when I started. Down yeah. I was like, let's do this. Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, I, I read one of the excerpts online at lindayoungministries.com. Um, but I am a server myself, and one of your excerpts talks about how, you know, you went to a restaurant and oh. the server <laughs> sat you at the dirty table and stuff. I gotta say, <laughs> That bothered me so much. That the dirty video. table or my response? No, the dirty table. Oh, you had every right table. to be upset. Okay. Let me tell you, you had every right. I can't believe they sat you at the dirty table. Because um, at my restaurant that I work at, half the time people sit down at the dirty tables. And I'm like, you got all these clean tables all around. Why you do that? Yeah. So, what is your biggest pet peeve with servers and waiters? What, what bothers you? Well, as a um, patron. Sometimes they take forever to come back and take your order, <laughs> and I'm so hungry. But it isn't really, it, the challenge, the challenging part is looking beyond what your pet peeve is and what aggravates you, looking beyond that and saying, you know what, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to throw that in, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Doesn't have to necessarily be all about this. Trying to trying to get something different than what you know people might hear when you speak yeah so let's see here fast food restaurants okay which one fast would you rather eat fast food or eat at a restaurant oh a restaurant definitely oh, okay some you never definitely. know definitely you never know even though no. i work in a restaurant i still prefer fast food oh no it's quiet it's restful um i can talk if i have someone there to talk to oh yeah all right, let's see here. I don't know what I'm getting All right, is God Glasses your first book? It is. It is? It is. Okay, because I was checking out, and I thought I'd seen your name before in bookstores, so I wasn't sure. And you, it, you might have, but it's my first book. Okay, all right. So there's been, like, books, or not book studies, but I saw online yet other things besides just the book. Oh, we, yes, we have a DVD series, a couple of DVD series that are Bible studies. Yeah. We have the DVDs that you can watch and then a study guide to go with it. Okay. okay. Perfect for a small group study. Yeah. You don't have to put together your own study. It's for a facilitator who wants to open their home up and have some people over. All right. All right. So, you told me before we got started, this isn't actually your first visit to the South, right? Right. Okay. But what, do you, what, what are your thoughts on the South versus, say, California? They, be honest, don't worry. They talk slower. <laughs> I don't have to listen quite as accurate. 
accurately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, because I have to listen way better to the people in the South who have bad accents. Well, that, you can catch on. It's easy to catch on. But California is fast. They're just fast. And here in the South, it's just slower. It's slower, and, um, and they're very friendly. The people here are very friendly. That they are.